Hello everybody, welcome back to Yenner's Cake Tips. Today's tip is about good old cupcake. They used to be just a cupcake, a simple pastry served with a tea, but these days it becomes a really trendy pastry. We can even find shops selling only cupcakes. Why is that? Because they are all individual. You don't have to cut the large cake into portions. That's why it's very useful. And this is hygienic. You don't have to cut, touch the cake because of the paper cup. All right, and you can also decorate very simple or very fancy or sophisticated way. Cupcakes are so versatile, you can flavor them hundreds of different ways. You can also decorate them hundreds of different ways, starting from simplest way, rosette of cream, piece of strawberry or cherry glaze. It is ready, everybody happy, children are the happiest. So if you want to go a little bit more further, fancier side, dome-shaped top cupcake is the next in line. So that is the stage that you can do further decorations. You can dip them in chocolate, you can go with a liquid fondant or rolled fondant, uh, whatsoever. But this is not the point of mine today. My tip today will be how to bring that cupcakes into dome-shaped cream on top, tens of it in seconds, hundreds of it in the minutes. From now on, we're going to talk only about dome-shaped cream in the cupcake top, so we can be a little bit more fancier. So go to Google and type in dome-shaped cupcake. You will come across not hundreds, but at least tens of different videos. So everybody does a fantastic job, don't get me wrong. But everybody also do a little bit differently. Like me, I also do a little bit different and I'd like to share with you today my practical way how to do it quick. So what I have on this table with ganache. Sometimes I take the, just the ganache when it's cold, put it in the machine and whip it up. So introducing a bit more air inside makes the ganache lighter and lighter in color. Also like when it's, when it's hardened in the fridge, it becomes a bit more firmer like buttercream, right? Not so like a gluggy and then sticky, right? So what I have over here also, uh, oil spray, kitchen spray, and some cling wrap ready to pull, stretch. And I have 12 cupcakes. Every time I bake any cake, like mud cake, white mud cake, butter cake or anything, I always uh, do a little bit more and prepare some cupcakes, always ready in my freezer. All right, this tray is good for 12. So the three key point is placing cupcakes a little bit distance from each other. So I will take the space on the tray, maximum use. I will stretch the cupcakes as far as possible from each other. All right, that's the trick. So after that, I will take my piping bag, disposable, and place some ganache in the right condition. So it is creamy, but not really too runny, all right? Then I pipe on the surface just nicely, about this much. Not too little, not too much. Don't forget, our aim, bring this cream into a perfect dome shape. When you look at things, what I have on the table, you may easily guess what I'm going to do. I'm gonna use spray oil can, I'm gonna use a cling wrap, and I have my cupcakes on the table. So yes, I'm going to use oil spray but not the oil. I'm gonna use the can, this side. So that side is a perfectly concave mold that I can push my cream on the cupcake. This kind of mold is available, but this is also available in my house. I don't have to go and get it, all right? So next thing to do, we're going to get the cling wrap. Make sure they are nice and loose. You can hold it like this, and then easily place it on those cupcakes. Make sure that when you're landing on the cupcakes, it doesn't really crumble around, all right? So, and I have here a very sharp blade, all right? Just cut this, remove, and cut this. So the blade is so sharp, I can just have a one touch, it cuts. So let me show you first one method. So cling wrap is on the cupcake and I'm using my hand to do it. So, just go like that, and then do like this, all right? 
So this is already, for a certain way, it's good, all right? But it's not quick enough because what I do, I take in the hand, I'm just mucking around too much with this. So don't worry about this and check this up. If this can is sticking too much on the surface, you can also put a little bit of starch dust on it. It will not stick anymore. All right? This one goes in the fridge now. Because the cling wrap sticks on the ganache, it cannot be removed. It has to be really nice and cold now. I just took the cupcakes from the fridge. They were 15 minutes inside, and I sure that it's like cold enough to, to take them out. So let's try one. So when I remove that uh, cling wrap, it has to come easy and like out without any kind of too much of residue here. So that is the cupcake dome shape is look like. I always bake my cupcakes in the same color of the paper cup, either brown or white. So, and I have a, a solution to make the cupcakes uh, nice and vibrant and colorful. So I place a second uh, paper cup underneath and then glue them with a bit of like ganache. So I just put a dot of ganache here, just for gluing purpose. So the second paper cup doesn't fall off. All right. And then let's remove our clean fill from the cupcakes first. If this one would stay a little bit longer in the fridge, it will come off a lot more easier. Of course, they are not uh, decorated yet, but I'm just showing you uh, what you have to do after your fondant coating or whatsoever is finished, right? So with this way, then you have really colorful finishing according to decorations what you have on top. So that was the tip of this week, guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe because I'll be back next week with another tip. So if you're looking for something a little bit more longer, a bit more complete cake tutorial, uh, go and visit uh, yenesbay.com. Till the next one, bye for now.